Up next, Timtastic and Soem versus P. Castro and Satans. The winner of this match takes on Stars and Kazuma in the second round on the right side of this bracket. This is a five versus five war, which means two players will be doing three creative attacks in this match. But watch out as Sains might just miss his queen with the recall spell. No <laughs> move. <laughs> but now let's jump into the first attack of this match. And we are off with Soam kicking this one off. Good luck to you, Soam. He has reached out to the Twitter community and he said, hey guys, do you have any plans for me? And maybe this is one of them as he's got 17 loons and he's got the bats to kick it off with the warden. Look at that. The bats help tank the air defense. And he's got a warden ability. No, not yet. He's patient. The hound pops. Now the, oh, the electro titan does come out of here as everything's like. <laughs> oh, okay. The owl, these are chained to the town hall. There it is. It activates. Warden. Hey, the electro titan needs to die. It's not dying. Electrotitan, die to the owl. Okay, well, he killed the queen, got kills the warden. He kills the whole bottom section of the space with that warden initially. As he's continuing his way potentially around, as he's got an ice golem king to the top side, that Electrotitan is still alive. As Rocket Loon's coming in for the wizard tower, queen behind this king. As he's continuing this push through. We got Rocket Loons off to the right side into the Archer Tower. The Ice Golem's going all the way to the top side. He's got Battle Drill to utilize. But he's going to try to take out this Eagle Artillery as quickly as possible. More Rocket Loons to the left. He's got seven bats and two freezes. Where's the Battle Drill going in? The Battle Drill is going to go to the Mortar, it looks like. The Electro Titan finally made its way. What? How did it finally make its way over to the top side? Jeez. Pops the Queen ability to take out the Eagle. Makes his RC invisible to try to take out the multi and. The multi. Oh no. The multi. The multi. The multi freezes it. He sends a rocket loot to try to take it out. There's the tornado trap. Finally, that goes down, but air skellies pop. Oh no. The bat. That titan killed me. In the core of this base, and the bats have disappeared. He wanted the bats to potentially move their way through. He's thinking maybe the RC can get some more value. And the enemy queen doesn't even go down either. And there it is. A 72% two star. So, P. Castro is up. Good luck. P. Castro with some super dragons. We saw Homura use it, like two super dragons to pick off some value as he lightnings the monolith and the poison spell tower. Try and take out the cannon. Some tassels will pop into the top side up here. As we got the blimp to go near the bomb tower. It looks like we have two invisibility spells. What's inside this blimp? Okay, the blimp goes down. Oh, not in the, the bomb tower goes down, but we got sneakies. There's a freeze. Oh, on the invisibility spell. Okay, the freeze on the invis so it doesn't make the tunnel invisible he does actually activate the tornado trap nice and early as this electro titan will take care of the lava hound headhunter is going to be slowing it down a little bit but that goes down really quickly no worries as the king is down to the bottom in towards this eagle artillery queen to help funnel the king into there with an electro titan and that electro titan on the left absolutely crushes through that lava hound no worries air skellies come up Come across to the right side. Arch Tower goes down. Now a golem with a bunch of wizards and a warden. Look at that. The golem and wizards. The old school attack. As he takes out the enemy RC, he can pop the war internal tome. Not yet. Still waits, drops it. Oh, pops it now. He drops some skeleton spells to try to distract that single target inferno. But we do have a multi. And he sends some super dragons up to the top side. But the Tesla is doing work. But the super dragon can bounce and hit the Tesla from the storage. He makes the RC invisible. He freezes. He drops the skeleton to distract the single target Inferno. King comes back alive. 
RC's trying to take out that multi, but the invis goes off. Uh-oh. The multi, though, is not hitting the RC. She's just out of range. The queen's walking around with ability and an invis. Is going to make the art. No, nope, she's dead. But the warden can still get some value here with queen ability. Is he going to get this? Wait, that phoenix is taking out the multi with the warden help and the diggy stunning it. Hello? Super dragon cleared some up top, but those Teslas did work. Oh boy, it's all about the perfect timing here. That warden is clutching. Cheeky monster, Coming in clutch! Queen's ability is gonna go off! But what if we have a giant bomb over here? That could be the queen's death. She is slowly getting healed back up. Hang on. There's the queen ability. We've gotta worry about the defensive king. Taking him down. Sneaky's to the storage. 16 seconds. Ground skellies. Remember, he's got an invis, but he doesn't want to accidentally make a building invisible. Down goes the platform. And the queen locks onto the builder on and takes it down for the three star. Whew. Timtastic is in. Good luck to you. Now he needs a triple to answer what P. Castro did with the eight inferno dragons and nine bats got those balloons to the top side to help pick off this arch tower a couple tassels do pop does he take out yes he does take out the arch tower and flame flinger up there got a couple mortars you have to be worried about them what else do you want to do here tim mortar not like oh he's still out of range just barely out of range here. Queen going to the left. How is it? Good. Yep, drops the Barbarian to try to tank some shots from the Mortar. Queen cl clears the left side. Do we have a, a Spring Trap? No, so the Ice Comb can go a little bit further into the base. Ice Comb will freeze this area. Mortar's going down. So you can go for your Pegano Mortar. Yeah, Queen This is the Miss Kizzy to it. Scatter shot here, it looks like. Queen, there's the opening. Yep, pops the ability. Scatter shot's going down. We got a king down to the bottom side. As we got a triple ice golem CC coming out of this. As the king's gonna run his way through. Ice golems are gonna go to that flame flinger. He's got a poison spell to utilize. RC's going into the bottom multi. The defensive rage goes up. The RC is trying to clear this multi. The RC had the... Oh. Yeah. Uh, yep, so we got an Infernal Dragons coming out of the Flame Flinger. Pois é, obrigado P2AK pelas bases. <laughs> P2AK, moço. Ice Golems. They're not going for anything else. He's got early bats. Bats are coming through, but this Wizard Tower is still up. He's got freezes he's going to have to use. But he's trying to clear this whole side with bats first. Oof, one HP. Tower, the wizard tower! No! Wizard tower. No problem. That one wizard tower. He needed to just distract that one. But now he's got inferno dragons coming in towards the town hall. Now the ice golems get up. Man, these ice golems are running a marathon. They're going all the way across the sides of the base here. As he pops the Warden ability to try to protect the Balloons. But the Warden ability is going to wear off. But this whole left side, he wanted to go down from the bats. That Wizard Tower ruined that. As the Ice Golems are almost there. They're halfway across the base. Electro Titan clears some... No, it dies. But he's only got 17 seconds. No matter what, time is not going to be on his side. Those bats needed to clear way more. You wanted that Flame Flinger to grab the multi-target Inferno, potentially. I see what the plan was there. Nice try. Taking that Queen down, and it's going to be an 88%. Great effort to Tim Tastic there. Satan's Curse is in. Is he going to curse this base, still the main? With a Zap, Queen Charge, Recall, Rocket Loot. With the queen going towards this town hall. You can take out a monolith. Scatter an expo. 
I can't take all of those out together, but... Ai, eu revoltei isso. Não, meu... Ai, <laughs> oh no! What? Oh, rip the recall! He, he, he recalled his unicorn. He missed the queen. <laughs> Meu Deus, velho. Não dá pra soltar de novo, não, porque não pegou nada, velho. Se pá, dá pra soltar. <laughs> he lightings the rage, but the town hall is active. Oh, he cursed himself. He cursed himself. Oh, wow. Oh boy. Well, this queen, get ready. He's gonna charge his way in. The flame flinger is gonna try to secure the town hall. He double wall breaks in, so he. Eu que ideia tava monstro, mas a vida, né? Deu azar, né? Warden ability to keep the queen alive. He sends another wall breaker. Oh my! There it is, opening up towards the multi. Finally, pulling a little bit of the clan castle out. Rackaloo into the air defense down south. Queen is back to full health here, but can he recover this? He still has his recall for some reason. Why don't you place... Where are you going to place your unicorn recall? Where? <laughs> uh, put your unicorn recall somewhere. Just send it with your RC or something. Oh, my. Satan, you've got a unicorn in your recall. You're not using it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, he's got Rackalins to come through. He doesn't want to use the recall spell for some reason. Okay. Well, the Electrotite needs to die. It's not down south. The Golem death damage can do some, some damage to it. As he's continuing his way around. Not able to take out the top side. And unfortunate. The curse has been put on himself. With the recalled unicorn. Hey, it's a new meta. <laughs> The recalled unicorns, a new meta in Clash of Clans. You just, you, you just not uh, seen it yet. Satan is uh, showing us right here. Oh rip! Oh my! <laughs> he probably doesn't even realize he has the recalled unicorn sitting there. He probably thinks that it got nothing, but it actually got your unicorn, Satan. Just drop the recall. It'll drop the unicorn. Just drop the u. Oh my goodness! Just drop the recall. He doesn't want to. He probably thinks it's got nothing in it. <laughs> oh, rip. 81%. Nice try. Zolm is in again. And what is his plan? Now he's going to plan the next attack to give PT, because it depends on me. Unicorn, you can do that. It is a strategy that we just learned from the last attack. So. We've got more sneakies up and around. This base, six regular wall breakers because he's bringing the super archers, bringing the sneakies. Okay, taking his time, we're clearing the bottom side, grabbing the scatter. There's the super archer down south to help the warden. But that one on the left is gonna die. Oh, oh my god, that that is ability! Now that's gonna hurt. Um, my friends. He's got four. Oh, he recalls the warden. Oh, hey, look at that. He recalls like this game. <laughs> Air bomb hit him. So that's actually kind of nice. Oh, he's going to double warden walk. The scatter. I, thought, uh, I had enough healers. I forgot to drop healers. Oh, he's going to double recall warden. Wait. <laughs> oh, but the warden has no ability now, though. Look at this. He recalled the warden from there. He's going to recall the warden again. Okay, now this is pretty cool. But can he get away with swag and a warden ability at this point? The super archer is going to help this warden. Oh, double archers get launched. Double archers get launched again. Perfect. And there it is. Oh, that warden. That warden. That, oh, the super archer was clutched there. Is he going to recall the warden? Yes, he double recalls the warden. <laughs> Dang, look at that. He's going all yep. the way across the stage here. With that warden. And the queen wall breaks in towards the town hall. He already... It is open a little bit already. Out comes a triple ice golem CC. Now the king is with the warden. Ice golem super archers are over there. Into the eagle and the defensive king. Queen is going to have to step through these ice golems. But hopefully she stays... Yes! She stays out of range of everything. So he could kill the CC. 
but no warden ability though this is this that warden ability would be clutch here to protect that blimp and the kings and, and his barbarians there it is the blimp's making it there it doesn't land all too far he wall breaks in he's got the clone spell queen needs to step through to the town hall but he's not cloning up anything through the core there he doesn't freeze the queen Erro seu de confiar em base em Edu, né? Ah, a base vai defender. Olha a Queen lá. Olha a Queen. Rages her up to rage up these unicorns, but this whole core here is still a problem. He's got a clone spell. What do I clone? Hogs. Clone hogs. Got one more hog. He's gonna clone a solo hog to the bottom side to clear down here. Oh, nice try. So, um. Very, very creative. Really breaking the base down. Pops the ability through the core. But what a difference it could have been maybe with a warden ability to protect the blimp. But ah, uh, nice try. 79% two star. Key okay, Castro is up next. He's got himself four golems, four healers, and some lightning. With that battle drill, unless he decides to change it. And he's planning his attack, and the, there it is. But didn't fit. Oh no! What did I miss? Uh oh. You got the town hall. No recall for her. We got a hole in your base, Tim. Tim, you got a hole in your base. Oh my god! I didn't even move anything. <laughs> oh no. Queen's gonna charge her way towards this town hall. Hmm. Oh, look at this. He sends a headhunt. Oh, I was going to say he's going to send a headhunter to pull the CC, but he's not able to do that. Maybe to try to test for some skeletons. Maybe some Teslas over there. Queen does path her way in towards this town hall. We got a warden golem up top to help clear towards eagle artillery. He's going to move his way through with an electro titan up there. Queen is securing the town hall at this point. Golem to the left with some wizards. He casters loving the wizards and golems here. And we got another golem to the far left side. King can burn his ability with Warden Eternal Tome. Not doing it just yet. Headhunter's clearing the defensive king. Wait a sec. Oh, he's sending a battle drill to go move its way in towards the multi, it looks like. Pops the Warden ability perfectly to protect the barbarians of this king. Out come super minions from the CC. No poison. So he's going to have to hope that the Electro Titans do their work. The Royal Champion's coming to the left. Look at this. He's breaking the space down as he can continue to move through, but these super minions are doing work. King comes back alive. The battle drill grabs that multi-target inferno. The golem is tanking on the far right, but that one dies. Royal Champion's trying to continue her way through. Pops Queen ability through the enemy RC. Still is another five looms, a rage, a freeze, and an invis. But the RC does die. Oh, her ability goes off. Makes the RC invisible to try to keep her alive. Balloons to the Arch Tower to take that down. But he's got three extra loons here to use in this final section. The Royal Champion's making her way there. Where's he gonna drop them? The RC's gonna die. Queen. Hang on here. Queen's going for the expo. Oh, triple. And a freeze. Rages the Queen up so she can be back up to full health she's gonna continue her way through 33 seconds she steps into the scatter shot now and he's got it p casho with another three star look at all the golems and the wizards p casho making it look easy oh my what an attack brilliant very nice job and swag in that freeze as well gg what a hit and another triple for this man. And the five first five match. And we take a look at the overall score right now. It is eight to six with a percentage of 56.2 to 47.8. Tim Tastic is up and he's got the triple. At this point, they got a triple out. Hope to tie it up on stars and hope to be able to get a judge voting on their side. So we've got lightning bats double poison spells starting with an early early warden mini lalo taking out the air defense the arch tower wizard tower section and the eagle artillery is he gonna drop a blimp or a stone slammer what is he gonna do here 
Hmm. Okay, clearing that eagle. Queen's off to the left. We got dragon riders here. So that warden's gonna stay up, grabbing that value. He wall broke his way to the left to try to get the queen towards the scatter. The ice golem gets sprung as the queen's clearing some Teslas, but the scatter shot locks onto his queen here. For forces ability. She's gonna get stuck on some storages now, though. He's gonna drop the bats right away onto the Grand Warden, the air defense. Dragon Rider down south as well. The Warden is taking out some value, but he's finally gonna be dying off. He's still got the Warden ability. Don't know what the plane was for the swag and the Warden ability, I guess. RC is still clearing down to the bottom side. Lightning through here. Oh, Earthquake makes the... Oh, look at that! Oof. Nice. Mile of trying to keep the RC invisible to secure the town hall. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, with the final shot, the RC grabbed the town hall there. Oh, wow. Look at him breaking this base apart. He just, I, you know, he just swagged that warden, I guess. Doesn't need it. Still has king ability. That king's doing worse going on the right side. <laughs> sure. <laughs> No, he waits. He's patient. He waits till after the bomb tower or the bomb, ex the big giant bomb, I can't speak, explodes as Dragon Rider's going to go. Oh, wait. Did he pull anything out of the CC? Oh, it's an Electro Titan. Okay. But that Electro Titan is going to be a problem. He's got a double poison in it, but he won't stack. Oh, and he pulls out an Ice Golem, but that won't matter to the Dragon Riders as they'll just be moving around. But the Electro Titan is going to be walking out of these poison spells. Uh oh. He's still got an Invis. He's still got a couple blues on the backside to go through. He needs to pull. Agora é PT dos caras. Não. Pelo Z. See, what was the plan to kill her? Maybe his queen or something? Makes the dragon rider invisible. The electric. If queen got scattered, this is a triple. Doing works using balloons on the backside, pulling red air bombs over there. But oh, the electro titan too much. Kept a lot of things alive, but nice try to Tim. Very nice try. With well, Satan's curses in again. Satan, is he gonna get curse himself? Okay. No recall spell, so he can't recall the unicorn. He can't protect his precious unicorn. Which means he might lose the unicorn. Sad, sad times. Maybe he can like reuse the unicorn the last get two unicorns to attack. Imagine, you know? That would be cool. There it is. The earthquake. Activate the town hall so the flame flinger can go for it. With that queen to the right side. We got the lightning to help take out the scattershot expo compartment down there. Ooh. Nice value there. Flame flinger is going to continue its way towards this town hall as the queen is making her way up to 12 o'clock on this base. Couple sneakies coming around. Vai dar pra fazer lá o depósito, então. Uhum. Through Golem down to the bottom and the King, the Warden, as he's gonna push his way towards here. But the Queen might walk her way down to the Eagle, anyways, as he's going into the defensive King. He's got a couple headhunters. He's got eight Valks as well. Remember, the problem is we've seen Valkyries disappear so fast in Valkatex. You have to be, you have to keep your eye on them. Oh, 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 Rockaloons, especially these Valks. These Valks. Yo, there's a jump. The Ice Golem. Oh, the Rocket Loon. He's losing the Valks fast. He's still not popping the Warden ability. Bro, I told you the Valks are gone. What? This man is waiting forever, but that means his Valks are gone. The Warden has decided... Oh, no, he's going back to the King here, but no more Valks, pretty much. The Town Hall does go down, finally, as he's got the Royal Champion running away to the bottom side. But the queen did not take the jump back. She decided to go walking on her own to the bottom. Royal Champion's gonna make her way to the monolith. King comes back alive. Respeita a cal, pô. Trabuco monstro, velho. Olha o trabuco, velho. Você falou que nem pegar, velho. Respeita, velho. As the Royal Champs continue her way towards this top side, he's got a freeze. He's got queen ability. This RC. No way, what is this? <laughs> Smash. Okay, RC's ability freezes the scatter. Double ground skeleton comes up, but the scatter goes down. As long as he got the time, he could drop sneakies to jump into that CC in the core. 
Tesla trollou aqui as três, velho. Puta merda, velho. Fuck, those sneakies gotta go fast. Pops, Queen ability, the sneakies need to stay alive so they can take the jump and run faster. Warrior can just turn around and snipe it. He's going. 15 seconds, and he's got it. another triple for this team. Oh, my. Oh, jeez. Another three-star. GG. So, um, you have to triple and then hope something crazy happens. Yeah, now, on the other side, a zero-star. You don't wish for zero stars for your opponents, but if you're in the war, you do. We're gonna see the flame flinger continues. Se para dá para ganhar mesmo fazendo uma estrela, velho. Bats, fifteen raccoons. He's got a bat spell up to the top side to distract the air defense, and a little bit of a Tesla farm does pop up there as well. Taking this air defense down as he's continuing his way through. If there's another E Titan CC, I'm just ending. <laughs> Defensive rage goes off. And what else value can he get? Remember, the balloons, they do death damage. So if they die near the town hall, or even the dragon runner, it will activate the town hall. As that flame flinger. You are doing a little bit of beast. It's a beast damage. So, that's good. It's a bunch. He wants the inferno dragon to try to secure the town hall here. Nothing targeting these dragon riders, so they're still going here. He's taking his sweet time. Where's well, he gonna drop a rock loon? He's got one more infernal dragon. Because it oh what kind of pathing is this? Where is it going? He sends another one. Will it go to the town hall or is he gonna go to the right side? Uh guys, it might not go to the town hall. It doesn't! Oh no! <laughs> but this one should, right? Oh the town hall's activated with the minion. <laughs> I'm not getting town hall. Oh, bro, it's pain. Ah, I'm going to push Well, the Super Dragon comes out of the Flame Flinger. It took out the... This is a one star. <laughs> Rip to the Inferno Dragon, trying to secure the Town Hall here. As the King's going to go to the Scatter. With the Warden and the Queen making their way there, the Super Dragon clearing the Eagle Artillery, pops the Warden ability, protect the Barbarians, the King. The king. <laughs> Bats don't do anything. Maybe I get down home. <laughs> maybe, maybe I get down home. Never know. So stupid. This 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 should have tripled. <laughs> oh my. Two more lightning because he wanted to use the lightning somewhere else. Look at this. It's actually still coming through here. But the problem is the multis. He could have potentially lightning one of the multis. There's a lightning there onto the ground expo. Which, the king comes back alive. He drops wall breakers to go in towards this wall. Can they open the wall to give the queen access? No, no, and no. Makes the queen invisible. Very nice try to sew him. Ganhamos já, pô, com um ataque swag. Unfortunate, no three star from them on their side. But they'd come in with some really, really nice attacks there. Only an 88. P. Casho is now trying to go for what we have not seen yet. A three triple war from one person. Can he do it? Can he get through? Can he go three for three? Look at the army he's got. Two E Dragons. Lightning out the monolith. He's got a golem. Three ice golems. He's got a lot of different troops here with nine balloons. Oof. Okay, that flame fling. I'm gonna try to secure this town hall. Baby dragon grabbing this archer tower. That queen to the left side. Gonna try to get this queen to go forward. This eagle artillery, it looks like. Golem to help tank for her. The giant pulls a spring. No. Doesn't matter. Because the golem wouldn't get sprung anyways. As the queen does now step into that eagle. Flame flingers continue its way around. Gonna be just out of range of the ground expo. Eagle goes down. That's actually really nice. Taking an eagle out early. Dropping a skeleton spell to distract the RC. And look, he's trying to path his king into that multi-target inferno. He's now luring out a bit of that clan castle of archers, headhunters, and a super Valkyrie inside of that defensive CC. That king is going down fast. Same with the Electro Titan. Uh-oh. The RC to the top side. 
Oh, the Alex Shai is just barely alive. The king. Oh, he helps clear that multi. Wait. What the? His queen is still going to the bottom side. Are you? He is perfectly pathing his heroes in this base. He makes the queen invisible. Trying to get her to clear that multi. The town hall is going down. Pops queen ability. Takes that. Look at this man. He is breaking this base down. He sends the double E-Dragons with the Warden down to the scatter shot. He completely dissected this. Pops the Warden ability. Trying to get some chain. That RC! How is she? What? How is that RC? It do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a three star. This man. Bro, this guy is crazy. <laughs> And plan three different attacks. And remember every detail of the attack to execute them. That is so difficult. P. Castro, what a performance from you. Well done. Unbelievable. And that's a final score of 14 to 10. And the one cursed up unicorn is why they ended up failing. So that means... And the percentage is a 96.2 to an 83.6. Incredible. But with that, we know the judge voting will not make an impact in this. So let's go and find out what the next match is going to be. Next time on the Creative Master Series, Letnos and Leo versus Rainberry and Hades. Rainberry attempts a queen charge, but watch out for rage up headhunters. No. Oh my god. Oh, no we got the rage headhunters. Dude! Dude, the deranged up headhunters absolutely smashed his queen. 